Welcome to the Albany, New York National Weather Service Weather Balloon Launch Video. We are one of 92 offices in the U.S. and hundreds more worldwide that launch weather balloons twice a day. Each launch provides weather forecasters essential data about what is actually going on through the atmosphere up to about 100,000 feet, including temperature, moisture, air pressure, and wind speed and direction. This critical data is ingested into weather models, which helps meteorologists predict weather more accurately. So how do we launch a weather balloon? Let's show you. We start each weather balloon launch with the same four pieces of equipment. A weather balloon, a radioson, a derailleur, and a parachute. All of the important weather instruments are housed within the radioson, and the weather balloon carries it into the atmosphere. We begin all weather balloon launches by first opening a computer program that helps us ensure that the radioson works correctly, and then we assemble the radioson. Once everything checks out, we take a look at the cloud coverage and weather conditions and input that information into the computer. We launch weather balloons in all types of weather, no matter rain or shine. The only time we cannot launch is during thunderstorms. After we take our observations, we gather all four pieces of equipment and head up to our balloon shelter where we attach our radio sign to the weather balloon. In the balloon shelter, we unfold our orange parachute while our helium balloon fills up, which is shown here in the background. We attach a parachute so that everything seen here can return safely to the ground once the balloon pops. After that, we unravel enough string off the derailleur and attach it to the radio sign. This ensures there is enough distance between the radio sign and the balloon so the two do not touch while the balloon rises. In total, the balloon takes about seven minutes to fill up with helium. Once that is complete, we tie off the bottom portion of the balloon with string so no helium leaks out. Then we call our local airport to make sure it is safe to launch. If it's clear, we open the roof of our balloon shelter and launch the weather balloon. Data flows into our computer program immediately after the balloon launches and we quality control to ensure it's accurate. And here is the finished product. This is what we call an atmospheric sounding. It shows meteorologists all types of important features such as the amount of available moisture, if precipitation will fall as rain, snow or wintry mix, and even if severe weather is possible. For more information on atmospheric soundings, visit the website here. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you learned more about how the National Weather Service launches weather balloons. Should you have any questions, feel free to contact the Albany National Weather Service office.